So I'm back to the fix list here. And going down the list, I'm now looking at this second RFE over here. And you can see what it says, compare doesn't merge from RSE. This was a feature that was added a couple of um, years ago, actually, where you can compare using iProjects and off and on the offline, you can compare to you could you can compare to a member that was on the remote system, and there was a merge capability where you could compare two source members and then merge the differences in. The request here was to actually bring up two remote members and without being in I projects, that is being an RSE, and being able to compare them and do the merging left and right, which I find very, very helpful. So let's go through that. I'm only going to show it a 9.6 because there is no 9.5 comparison for this. So let me bring up 9.6 now so you can see exactly what's going on. Here is 9.6 and you can see I have a member filter over here and I have these four programs all beginning with the word source. One, two, three, four. They are very, very similar to each other but not quite identical. So one of the things that people ask me often is I, I click on a member and I say compare with, and this is always grayed out. That's because you're thinking of the old PDM where you put option 25 and then you hit enter and then type in the second source member. When you're doing this with RDI, you must select both members at once. So I'm holding down the control key now. And now as you can see, I have them both highlighted. And when I right click and say compare with, now each other is available, which I'm going to do right now. Again, these are somewhat similar or mostly sim similar, but there are some differences. So we can, you can see them right here, what they are. Let me enlarge this a little bit so you can see what's going on here. Here's my scroll bar. And of course, this is my side-by-side -side comparison. But in 9.5 RDI, th these features right here are not present. They're just not there. But with 9.6, they are now there. And you can also see I have these little boxes here. These identify the next change. And I can also navigate in my source member with, you can see next difference, next change. But again, what I want to point out is these, these features right here. So notice right here I have on the left side, and I can switch back and forth. This, this back here, this, this button right here will, will allow me, if I wanted to, I can move I can swap the left and right sides, which I'm not going to do. But nonetheless, I have this line highlighted right here, return data len, which is not present over here. And when I come to the top over here, I can click on this guy right here. It says copy current change from left to right, which I'm going to do right now. I'll click on that. This is my merge feature. And just like that, it added that line right there. And I can just keep going down to my next change. I can, I can, I can scroll or I can click on these to go to the next change. This is not a, a very big program, so it doesn't make a difference. And what you can see over here is I have this. In this case, I'll go to the direction. I see I have a data structure here, error code data structure uh, T for template probably. And then I have qualified line. Line is highlighted because it's different than what's over here on the left side. So if I wanted to move this line to the left side or this this word line to the left side, I would click them over here and say copy current change from right to left. Whoops. And when I do that, let me go back. Click over here again, right to left, do it again. There it is. So now we just edited it over, as you can see right over there. If you're very comfortable and with you're very comfortable that there are not a lot of changes or you're very confident that you do in fact want to bring over everything in one shot, there is this feature right here. And look what it says. Copy all non-conflicting changes from right to left. And of course, the same thing from left to right. So you can do it either way. Of course, if I go to close this right now, because I have in fact changed the members, if I say yes, then it will commit the changes to those two members as I happen to have changed them. So very powerful, very, very nice way to compare and certainly merge code changes. And again, this is uh, an RFE that's uh, really worthwhile and I'm glad it's finally here.